We have over 2,000 pigs. 2,000 pigs? <laughs> Why did you leave UK to come to Nigeria? Why must I settle in abroad? The zeal, the passion in me as an entrepreneur, I believe in settling in Nigeria, work with Nigerians, achieve whatever I want to achieve all my life. I've never had a time that I say I have like one week holiday. I see myself working every day. Every day that I see myself idle, I know the body is not feeling fine. We breed pigs and also run production of livestock feed. And I'm happy that today here has produced a lot of farmers and people have heard about us for nook and cranny of the state and neighboring states. This is the biggest pig farm in Plateau states. What's up guys, it's Simon Arme from C again and welcome back to the channel. Today we are bringing you a wonderful video and we are here at PO Gas Pig Farms and we are here with the CEO, Engineer Ude. Yeah, thank you. It's nice to meet you, sir. Me too. Pleasure is mine. My name is Obin Naude. I'm the MD of PO Gas Farms and Industries Limited. Basically, we breed pigs and uh, also run production of feed, livestock feed. These are what we do here. We're trying to see how we can, you know, bring things together that we can offer what government are not doing, what we heard about them doing before, but they don't do it again. In form of employment, in form of startup of business, in form of a forum where people can come and see how they can start up their own businesses. And I'm happy that today here has produced a lot of farmers in this place and people have heard about us for nook and cranny of the state and neighboring states as a matter of fact and to the glory of god i think this is the biggest pig farm in plateau states god is helping us we are striving and going higher and higher our vision is that one day our farm will be one of the best farms in terms of scope in terms of best practices in West Africa. Uh, we are competing, we want to compete with global services, best services, so that we can offer the best to our customers and end users. And also bringing other potential farmers on board. There are young guys, instead of waiting for white collar jobs, we actually there are some things we can do on our own that can provide employment, that can maybe make weight by what we do. So this is the place, this is the arena. So uh, where, where are we now? Okay, this is one of the pens. This is one of the pens. This okay. pens C. Okay. We have the B. Okay. This is C. In pen C we have piglets. This is where we domicile our piglets. Piglets. Yeah. Mm. So let's go and see it. So we have to sanitize. Yes. Yeah. We have to sanitize. So these are our piglets. Mm. When our yeah. our piglets attend certain age, mm. uh, basically mm. four weeks, we tend to win them. Wow. I like how organized everything is. Yes. Yes. Like I told you that this is the work we do. You can see how clean the environment is. Mm. So, um, how many pigs do you have in total? Well, we have over 2,000 pigs. 2,000 pigs? Mm. <laughs> 2,000 pigs? Yes. You have different breeds or they are all the same breeds? No, no. We have different breeds. We have breeds like Duroc. We have Hampshire. We we'll have Lanris, we we'll have Large White, we we'll have uh, Camboro, we we'll have uh, Cross Duroc, we we'll have Danish Protest, we we'll have uh, a lot of them. In total, that's like how many breeds? We we'll have yeah. like uh, over 10 breeds. 10 breeds? Mm. That's a lot. Yeah. Yes. 
So, um, how did all of this start? How did you start all of this? Well, this place started um, way far back 2020. 2020. The COVID okay. year. COVID year. So that every, all of us were locked inside the house. house yeah. So, we are deeply into construction industry. Okay, so, construction. at that time, government and other uh, other uh, business agencies shut the down their yeah, shops that's true. Because, of the COVID. because of the COVID. Yes. So we found ourselves in the house and locked ourselves up. But before then, don't forget we have workers, employees under us. So every month, Employees will put a phone across and say, Oga, what about our salary we have not seen? So as then, a man, no work. <laughs> no work. As a man, we must pay because if you don't pay, they will come and look for you at home. And um, based that we have worked, we have a cordial relationship at work. We cannot deny them. So I have to think which way forward. We think outside the box and say, there's need for us to start something. So that we now notice that what we do is what we should tell ourselves the bitter truth that we don't have any permanent work. We only had a temporary work because a contract work is a temporary work. So we started year 2020, start building. During the COVID, we will come here, we put blocks. We started from the other side, we put blocks, we put just one block, two blocks, three blocks. At the end of the day, we have about over 10 pence. Uh, it's uh, Pen F. Pen F. What do you have in Pen F here? Uh, we have growers. Growers. Mm. Okay. When you say growers, what do you mean by growers? Growers are those that have matured from piglet oh, sheep. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so they have uh, grown, mm. they have weaned. So at then. Uh, a matured state Stitch. so that in this area mm. this place you now see the pig tend to add weight yes. exhibit some maturity, maturity stage in their body in their body mm. you begin to see them okay <laughs> so they are now becoming independent from their mother they tend to become a mother or father what's the average a pig can give birth to like average numbers okay a pig can Average of 10. 10. Okay. Does it depend on the breed or all of them? Mm, mostly large, white, and large. Okay. Uh, we have witnessed 19. Yeah. 19. Wow. Yeah. 19. This place. We have witnessed 22. 22. Yeah. Uh, but averagely 10. 10. So they can give birth to 8, 6, 12, 14, 5. Mm. It depends on nature. We have also witnessed pig giving birth to one. One. <laughs> if it's interesting, mm. this is my name. Mm. I am the OR, the owner's representative. Mm. I act in the capacity of the MD, MD. in case if it's not available. Mm. So where are we? We are in the mill. Mill? Yes, yeah, that's what we call it, warehouse. Warehouse. What um, do you do in the warehouse? This is where we compound our feed. Okay, your feed. So you make your feed your own yes, self? Yes, we make our feed ourselves. Okay. For example, this, what we have here is the wheat offer. Wheat offer? Yes. So these are feeds? Yeah, still? these are feeds. Okay. This rice bran. Okay. Over here, we have the, the soya beans. The soya beans, okay. Mm. So there are a lot of additives that are involved that involved. I may not mention, mention. during our formulation. Mm. So that's what we do here to make sure that we have a quality fit that we give to our pigs to make it sure. The way you have seen them, I they are quite healthy. Yes, yes. They are quite that's healthy. what we do here. Yes. This is our machine okay. for mixing. Yeah. And this here, a machine for grinding. Okay, grinding. We grind the maize, we grind the soybean. Those are the two major things that this machine does. Mm -hmm. But there is the mixer where all the additives are put in together and I mix them, we bag them. Okay. 
So you even sell to customers. Customer. So okay, you sell yeah. this to. We come sell to customers. Okay. So How much does the bag of this cost? Uh, I may not give per head because we'll buy in tons. In tons, okay. Yes. What are the major challenges you faced uh, in pure gas? Like I said, the challenges we face is economy. Our economy is harsh in Nigeria as a whole. You buy something today, tomorrow you will not get it. And the people, your customers would not tell you how much you buy raw materials. All they are concentrated is this is the price you have placed this. If you are saying you are selling a kg of uh, pork, 1,005. It should be 1,005, irrespective of other add-ups in raw materials. For example, we have raw material we use like maize and other grains. A bag of maize is, goes for 60,000 per bag of 100 kg. So by the time you compound all and other elements, other raw materials, that we, both the one we imported, by the time you compound them together and see how much a kg of feed goes, you will not be able to sell a pork. The cost price, that is, I'm talking of the, 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 the production cost, will not be less than 2,000 naira per kg. And if you sell it, you will not see people that will patronize you. So we are struggling to, to come out, considering our production cost. We are struggling to pay our overheads, our bills because the cost of production is high, so it's a huge challenge. If our economy will be fair, will be better, that things are easily accessible, easily bought, then other people can even come on board. So that is the major challenge we face. Like I told you recently that we are blessed with customers from across the neighboring states, like Kaduna, Abuja, uh, Nasarawa, Benue, Anambra, and other states, is because we, we don't look at that cost I was telling you. We are looking at how can we bring more people on board. Because I believe the greater we are into this business, the better for us. We subsidize our rates, we bring it down, and allow other people, so long you have that passion to be in business, we don't look at the monetary aspect of it. We we'll look at how we can help you to start up your business. So, because if we want to look at how much we spend to raise a pig, a piglet, we may not sell. So, we we'll look at what is possible. How we can, if we have break even on the cost of breeding a pig to a certain level, we are good to go. So like piglet, we have the one we can sell as low as 25,000, 30,000, depending on the breed. We have also a breed of 60,000. We have breed of 140,000. What's the highest um, amount of pig? That's um, the one I'm telling you, 140,000 piglets. For That's piglets? Do, do rock. Mm. Okay, so it depends on the, on uh, the, breed. On the breed. Yes. Okay. Mm. So what of bigger? Pigs. Uh, how do you sell them? Okay, okay, the we sell in kg. Yeah, talking of lightweight. Yeah. Oh. We sell in kg, yes. Oh. We sell 1,000, we sell 800, depending on what you are buying. Now we sell 1, 2, depending the 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 quantity you are buying. If you are buying in large scale, large scale we sell, we reduce money. Uh, if you are just buying few, uh, we, it depends, but ranging from 800 to 1,200. So what's your advice to um, someone wanting to venture into pig farm mm. or any business at all in Nigeria? Uh, I say that young, particularly the younger ones, we shouldn't, because our government have disappointed us, we shouldn't be lamenting in our government as a result of bad leadership. You understand? We should we should roll our sleeves and come on board. Look for something you can do. It might not be pig farming. It might be crop farming. It might be another venture you want to do. Don't give up. Roll your sleeve, 
come out and see what we can do. And I'm also extending this venture to other entrepreneurs. Let us see how we can touch lives. Let us see how we can touch lives by bringing people around us. Anybody that shows passion in this business, we encourage them by helping them to start up that business. And a couple of them have been sending messages and prayers. That is enough for me as far as I'm concerned. They pray for me every day by day. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You are the reason why this business is still functioning, functioning today. And we are good. I know tomorrow, God or someone God has put in a position will remember us. Yes, that's my belief. So I call on you. I call on other people, friends, let them come on board. Let them come. Patronize the PO gas. Come and be partner with PO gas. We offer training services here. We are consultants here too. Uh, even other people who have farms and they're having issues, we have uh, professionals, you know, medical professionals around us who can offer a better advice and revive their farms. We don't want to see any farm that winding down or closed down or not functioning. All farms should be alive so that we can synergize together. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, do all to like, share, subscribe, and do all to patronize Mr. Uber for Biogas. So I'll drop the details below the video so that you can see and reach out to him. I'll see you in the next video.